The Green Revolution In this module, you will learn about the Green Revolution and the government's role in encouraging Green Revolution in India. In India, agriculture plays a very important role in the economy as it accounts to a large percent of the national income. A large number of people are employed in the agricultural sector. Huge percent of India's population directly depends on agriculture for livelihood. Raw materials for the agro-based industries like the food processing industries, cotton industry, etc. are provided by agriculture sector. Agriculture is an important source of foreign exchange as it plays an important role in the export trade. Animal husbandry along with farming can be practiced to obtain additional income. Green revolution refers to the increase in the production of the food grains as a result of the use of high yielding variety of seeds, an increased use of fertilizers and irrigation. In 1960, a German agricultural scientist named Dr. Norman Borlaug conducted many experiments in Mexico which resulted in the discovery of high-yielding wheat grains. In the year 1965-66, the agricultural production dropped drastically in India due to severe drought. This drop in agricultural production resulted in the scarcity of food grains. In order to resolve this problem, the Indian government in 1966 initiated the usage of high-yielding variety of wheat seeds in the states of Punjab, Haryana, Delhi, Rajasthan and eastern part of Uttar Pradesh. Use of high yielding seeds need specific nutrients, regulated supply of water and protection from diseases. Thus, the use of chemical fertilizers, pesticides and irrigation facilities were initiated. This improved technology used in agriculture is called pre-harvest technology. An agricultural scientist, Dr. M. S. Swaminathan, played a significant role in implementing improved technology in Indian agriculture. Therefore, he is called the pioneer of the Green Revolution. Inspired by the successful use of improved technology in the cultivation of wheat crop, the government encouraged farmers to use high yielding seeds of other crops like paddy, jowar, ragi sugarcane, etc. Since poor farmers could not afford the high-yielding seed, chemicals and fertilizers, the government started distributing them at subsidized rates. Banks and cooperatives were set up to provide loans to the farmers on low interest rates. As a result, agricultural production improved and self-sufficiency was gradually achieved in India. The improved technology used to procure, process and market agricultural produce is called post-harvest technology. Increased agricultural production resulted in decreased prices of the agricultural products. To ensure a fair price to the farmer's products, agro-market was improved. Surplus produce was processed and used for manufacturing a variety of products. Granaries cold storage, warehouses were constructed to store the surplus produce. The Green Revolution has been negatively affected by soil pollution due to the excessive use of chemical fertilizers and insecticides. In order to solve this problem, efforts are being taken to promote organic and natural farming. The use of these techniques is referred to as perpetual green revolution or Second Green Revolution. Let us now recap all the important points that we have covered in this module on the Green Revolution.